Hey guys, it's Chris. From snakes with huge eyes that you might not even notice, to giant snakes that are very aggressive, here are 11 of the most venomous snakes in the world. Number 11, Eastern Tiger Snake. In Australia, there are many snakes that are known to be very venomous and deadly. Actually, there are a lot of things like that in Australia, but the snake that is the most distributed in the region is the Eastern Tiger Snake. To be clear, there are many types of tiger snake in Australia, but the Eastern one can be found in the Southern fringe of Australia and on the nearby islands like Tasmania. Its average length is about four feet long and they are known to be very aggressive snakes with really powerful venom. They'll strike rather than slither away and will strike at prey to kill it, as well as bite potential predators in order to ward them off. They are not scared of anything. Their venom is known to be very fatal to humans. Tiger snake venoms possess potent neurotoxins, coagulants, hemolysins, and mycotoxins. Symptoms of a bite include localized pain in the foot and neck region, tingling, numbness, and sweating, followed by a fairly rapid onset of difficulties breathing and paralysis. From 2005 to 2015, tiger snakes, including the eastern one, accounted for 17% of all snake bites in Australia. Number 10, Boomslang. There's a snake known as the Boomslang but it's also called the tree snake. This snake is rather special because it's a snake that is the only species in its genus. In terms of length, its average is about three to five feet, though there have been a few that have been known to grow over six feet. Despite the length, it's very light in weight. It barely weighs a pound at times, and at max, it's known to be 1.12 pounds. The reason the boom slang is so dangerous though is its venom. Unlike various members of its genetic family, its venom is both potent and slow acting, making it so the victim doesn't know they're in danger. Located in Sub-Saharan Africa, Scientific American calls this shy snake the cat of the snake world. They move so fast, you might not even know it was there. If you were to look at the head of the boom slang, you'll notice that not only is it egg-shaped, it has abnormally huge eyes. Their fangs are located in the back of their mouths, so it's actually difficult for them to open their mouths big enough to bite. The venom of the boom slang is primarily hemotoxin. It disables the coagulation process, and the victim may die as a result of internal and external bleeding. The venom has been observed to cause hemorrhage into tissues, such as muscle and brain. Other signs and symptoms include headache, nausea, sleepiness, and mental disorders. The first recorded death from a boom slang was herpetologist Carl P. Schmidt from Chicago's Lincoln Park Zoo in 1957. He was bitten on his thumb and didn't even think about it. Nobody knew they were so deadly. He went home and started feeling sick, so he started to record all his symptoms. And just 24 hours later, sadly, he was gone. Number 9. Okinawa Habu the Okinawa habu is a very venomous snake known to the Ryukyu Islands of Japan. The habu is able to grow between 4 and 9 feet depending on the creature itself, and that length makes it the longest snake of its genus. One of the more unusual aspects of the snake, though, is while the body of the habu is long and slender, its head is quite bigger in proportion. Not unlike certain other species of snake, the habu is known to be nocturnal, and when they go and eat, they'll often sneak into buildings or various other structures to hunt things like mice. They're confident, but also very irritable so much so that they've been known to strike first and never ask questions, which is a problem both because of its length and because of the venom that it holds. The venom of this species is of high toxicity, containing cytotoxin and hemorrhagic components. A bite from a habu snake can cause nausea, vomiting, hypertension, and possibly death. There have been cases where victims report the loss of motor functions in hands and legs following treatment. If a bite victim receives medical care promptly, bites are not life-threatening. However, 6 to 8% do suffer permanent disability. Habus are known for the frequency of their bite in relation to the islands. It's said that two out of every thousand people get bit by an Okinawa habu, which in case of the islands is kind of a lot. Number eight, King Cobra. The King Cobra is in fact the longest venomous snake in the world today, and it's earned quite the reputation as a result of this fact. On average, the King Cobra can reach around 13 feet in length, but they can also get up to 18 feet in length at times. Their trademark move is one that has become legendary in TV and movies. The King Cobra will actually stand up via raising its body vertically, spread its hood, and actually stare their prey in the eyes before striking them. 
because of this, they can actually stand six feet in the air, the size of a rather tall human. Technically speaking, the king cobra doesn't have the most potent venom in the world, but what it lacks in potency, it makes up for in volume. A single bite from a king cobra snake has enough venom to kill 20 men. Or if you combine all of that, a single bite can kill an elephant. What might be the most ironic thing about this is that the snake is actually very shy and prefers to stay out of sight, especially around us humans. But when it is trapped or threatened, it'll become the most aggressive thing around. Number 7. Common Crate Within India, there are a series of snakes known as the Big Four that cause incredible pain and death to humans based on their being found in very populous places. One of those snakes is known as the Common Crate or Indian Crate. Despite being called common, they are a very large snake, sometimes getting close to 6 feet in length, though the average is much closer to 3 feet. Also, despite being found a lot in India and causing many snake bites there, the common crate is known for being in places like Sri Lanka, Bangladesh, Nepal, Afghanistan, and more. What might surprise you though is the eating habits of this snake. The common crate is actually a cannibal, so it'll go after other snake species, including other crates. When that won't do, it'll go after small mammals or eat things like lizards and frogs. In regards to its venom, this is where the deadliness of the snake comes forth. Crates are nocturnal, so they usually won't encounter humans during the day, but when they are less on edge at night. What's more, crate bites usually don't hurt initially, so you'll think you got away with getting bit by one when the opposite is true. Typically, victims complain of severe abdominal cramps, accompanied by progressive paralysis. If death occurs, it takes place about four to eight hours after the crate bite. Cause of death is general respiratory failure or suffocation. Just in Bangladesh, over 50% of all deaths from snake bites are caused by crates. Number 6. South American Rattlesnake There are many snakes in South America, but the South American Rattlesnake is known to be one of the most deadly beings to live in the Amazon rainforest. One of these reasons is that they're a far-reaching species. Plus, they have at least seven subspecies that have been documented, and every single one of them are dangerous in their own right. To be clear, these are pit vipers, and like rattlesnakes in other regions, they do not like to be disturbed. They'll coil up their bodies and make a hissing sound to let you know they're not pleased with your presence. And if you take too long to move or get too close to it, they'll lash out, bite you, and inject you with their venom. The venom in its power differs depending on the snake you're getting bit by, but in many cases it can result in impaired vision or complete blindness, auditory disorders, paralysis of the peripheral muscles, especially the neck, which becomes so limp as to appear broken, and eventually life-threatening respiratory paralysis. Arguably what makes them even more deadly is they can reach up to 5 feet in length, but because of their coloring you won't notice them as you're walking through the forest. Number 5. Saw Scaled Viper The Saw Scaled Viper is a venomous snake that is part of a family of snakes known as the Echis. But what separates this one out from its brethren is that it's responsible for the most human deaths in the world via snake bites. Yet it doesn't have the most powerful venom in the world, not even close in some cases. But rather it's known for causing deaths because it's in populated areas within the Middle East and India. These are places that the anti-venom wouldn't be distributed to very easily. As for what the venom does, local symptoms include swelling and pain, which appears within minutes of the bite. In very bad cases, the swelling may extend up the entire affected limb within 12 to 24 hours, and blisters form on the skin. The amount of venom pumped into its victims depends on the snake itself, which is why it's not the deadliest snake in the world. But should you get bitten, you'll need to get one of the many anti-venoms for it really quickly, else suffer very fatal consequences. Number 4. Russell's Viper In India, there are many snakes, but several of the deadliest among them are found in the country such as Russell's Viper, a very dangerous and potentially venomous snake that can be found there and beyond, and is known for being one of the snakes that causes the most deaths in humans. Deboya is one of the genera responsible for causing the most snake bite incidents and deaths among all venomous snakes on account of many factors, such as their wide distribution, generally aggressive demeanor, and frequent occurrence in highly populated areas. Places you find this viper include Asia throughout the Indian subcontinent, much of Southeast Asia, Southern China, and Taiwan. If you're curious about the name, that would be because it was named after a famous scientist called Patrick Russell. He liked to study amphibians and reptiles, and was one of the people who helped identify many of the snakes that reside in India. 
What makes this particular viper so deadly is that unlike certain other snakes, they aren't afraid to truly inject people with lots of venom to make their point. What's more, when the venom does get you, it's gonna hurt. Envenomation symptoms begin with pain at the site of the bite, immediately followed by swelling of the affected extremity. Bleeding is a common symptom especially from the gums and the urine and septum may show signs of blood within 20 minutes after the bite. The blood pressure drops and the heart rate falls. Blistering occurs at the site of the bite, developing along the affected limb in severe cases. Necrosis is usually superficial and limited to the muscles near the bite, but may be severe in extreme cases. Vomiting and facial swelling occur in about one third of all cases. Number 3. Black Mamba This is the largest venomous snake you can find in Africa, the feared Black Mamba. To be fair, on average, the Black Mamba usually reaches about 9 feet, but one was found to have been over 14 feet, which is well over double the size of a human. As if being venomous wasn't enough to make it feared, this snake is the fastest striking snake in the world, as it's able to strike at over 12 miles per hour, and it's one of the most aggressive snakes out there today. So while other snakes may have more powerful venom, on the whole, the black mamba is the snake you do not ever want to meet. Even in its own habitat, it's not threatened by others. The black mamba doesn't have many predators it needs to look out for. If you still don't believe in the power of this snake, then know that the venom of the black mamba is so powerful that it can cause a collapse or even death in people in only 30 minutes after biting them. Number 2. Indian Cobra not to be confused with the King Cobra, the Indian Cobra is both one of the deadliest snakes in the world today while also being one of the most popular snakes in Indian culture. If you're familiar with the scenes of snake charmers in movies, then you'll know the snake we're talking about. And yes, these snake charmers do indeed use Indian Cobras in their act. This is dangerous, as the Indian Cobra is one of the big four that inflicts 46,000 deaths in people and 140 more people are severely injured. The venom acts on the synaptic gaps of the nerves, thereby paralyzing muscles, and in severe bites leading to respiratory failure or cardiac arrest. The venom components include enzymes that cause lysis and increase the spread of the venom. However, despite it being very deadly, if a person is bitten and then treated right away, they can more times than not be saved, so the mortality rate can be deferred. However, not all of India, where the snake is found in its majority, can receive that. And thus, when combined with the rest of the big four, they tend to do a lot of damage. Number 1. Inland Taipan The Inland Taipan has a very curious history with mankind, but in the modern day, it's considered by most to be one of, if not the deadliest snake in the world because of its venom. This is actually not due to the number of people it's killed over the years, but rather the amount of venom it secretes and the effect that has on people and mice when put into their systems. An estimate as to its venomous power states that the inland Taipan has enough venom in its body to kill 100 grown men. Plus, if untreated, a bite from one could result in death in less than 45 minutes. An irony about this snake was that it was found all the way back in 1879, and then again in 1882 by two different explorers. Yet after that, it vanished from the world for about 90 years. No one could find another inland Taipan. It wasn't until 1972 that it was rediscovered, and its deadly bite made famous in the world once again. The first local and general symptoms of a bite are local pain and variable non-specific effects which may include headache, nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain, diarrhea, dizziness, collapse or convulsions leading to major organ effects, neurotoxicity, coagulopathy, rhabdomyolysis or kidney failure and finally death. Thanks for watching. What did you think of these incredibly venomous snakes? Have you ever seen one in real life? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe to World List and I'll see you next time on the channel.